Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I wanted to do a little quick video on how to add some of accounts uh, like Dropbox Replay or Frame.io, or just Dropbox in general, or actually Vimeo too, to your DaVinci Resolve. So I gotta be honest, I'm not sure if this is the studio version only. Uh, I couldn't really find any good information on that, but uh, just give it a shot either way and see if it happens. Uh, but I am on the studio version, so I will say mine is studio version, but I, like I said, I can't swear to that. So what you want to do is when you have Resolve open, you want to go up here and click on DaVinci Resolve if you're on a Mac. Um, I think it's the same on Windows. You might have to do File. But anyway, you're going to want to get to the Preferences. When you click on the Preferences, you're going to get a lot of different stuff you can change here, which I'm going to do some more videos on later because there's a lot of good and interesting stuff in here that you really want to utilize. So you're going to want to go all the way down on, make sure your thing says system, go all the way down to internet accounts. And here you can upload uh, and, and or sign in to your stuff. So YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Dropbox, and Frame.io. Um, the Dropbox is also going to be your Dropbox replay. I will say the only thing that we've noticed about Dropbox and Dropbox replay is they just drop them in like your root folder. So they don't put them in like a specific folder. Like I kind of wish you could have like a, a pick a folder sort of thing on your export. Unfortunately, that's just not the case. Hopefully Resolve fixes that in the future. Um, and same with Frame.io, there's no real like place to do that. But in Frame.io, you do have to have a cache location. So just keep that in mind. Um, it will render it to that cache and then upload. But you know, we have that on our drive. So yeah, it's pretty much it. It's super simple. And uh, it's a great way to uh, just send something right to Dropbox and then, you know, organize it. Like we use Dropbox Business and Dropbox Replay now. Uh, so it's really nice that we can easily just export those things and they go right up to the account. You don't have to open up a new tab, upload them. Uh, not that that's that much work, but it just makes it that much easier. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.